Hello friends, how's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, the British campaign with adaptation, normal, land and sea. As you can see, we have capture of Savannah. I've already played this and I sent a bug report, uh, I can just say. At some point, some of the units uh, are re 100 percent reloaded but they won't fire at a, at an infantry unit so so I I'm gonna redo this and um, record again but you know I put my private email in there when I make a bug report so I don't want everybody to know my email address so I'm just gonna start this over again but um anyways yeah it's kind of ridiculous all in this battle, and it's uh, it's happened in other battles too, but in this battle, um, at some point, units just stare at each other, aiming, and they don't fire. I mean, that is ridiculous. All right, so um, Sally and Martha are going to come in the rear. And uh, here we go. Now... Okay, so like the first thing I, you know, you don't, I'll, I'll just mention, they got artillery here, it's facing this way, and it can blast all of this area here, all the way like that. And with their three skirmishers, your your units will get destroyed. Now they gave us this uh, Dragoons, so uh, we're going to, what I, what I want to do is I want to move any unit that is a big unit, and uh, we all got to get over this hill. So the first thing is to move units that are big out of here so I can see the small units. Like this one and this one, we can go ahead and merge. This one and this one, we can go ahead and merge. Maybe this one and... This one can merge. Now we go a little bit faster because we're not going to engage with them. But when their skirmishes do, then that artillery will shoot at us. So we want to just get out of here. Like you absolutely do not want to go this way to fight them. You want to fight them from this angle here because their artillery won't see us. And it'll be a good way of knocking it out. Yeah, because see, the skirmishes are already coming, so that means artillery will hit these outer units. And if, like I said, if you uh, want to speed the video up to see the battle, you may. This is just part of the preparation of... And we definitely don't want the supply wagon hanging around because those, those skirmishes will go after it. So now what we do want to do is want to get into this area right here. So I'll send the cavalry... See, they're probing right now for the artillery. And, and matter of fact, I should not have moved the uh, mortar to shoot at that skirmisher because their artillery is shooting at my mortar. So that was a bad move by me, as you can see. And so that, I already lost one really good guy for my mortar.
All right, so now we're going to start staging up over there. So, yep, I already lost one guy from my mortar. Alright, so we're basically uh, trying to stage up. Like I said, I lost one guy in my mortar, so that bugs me a little bit, but... I just thought I could get a free shot on a skirmisher, but I, then I forgot what I just told you at the beginning of the battle, that they spot for their artillery, you know? So it was a stupid move, but luckily I only lost one guy out of the group, so... You know, it could have been a lot worse. Okay, the we're getting we're getting some activity here. Yeah, I don't know why the music's playing weird, but... Yeah, I, I think they've gonna have to... Uh, they're gonna have to patch the game again. I think. Some people have been complaining that frames per second are being lost and all kinds of stuff. And like I said, uh, just like a 20 minutes ago, I sent a bug report of units not shooting each other. Now why is my mortar taking forever to get over here? Lieutenant Paul is wounded, figures.
Like I said, why is the mortar taking so long to get there? Okay. Well, I'm not I'm not going to advance anymore until the mortar catches up because you can see how long this video is and how long it took me to get this mortar over here. I mean, it just took forever. I still have done it, don't have it in position to shoot. Let's see what the mortar mortar does. Look at that mortar shot. Got ten kills already. That's six kills. Okay, so now right now what we're going to do is we're going to just back off a little bit. And we're going to let the mortar knock out some of these units. It says 100 soldiers, but it's only 99 here, so <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay, so you can see he's got up to 46. So why engage when we can just let the mortar... That's 179 guys right there in the militar, so I mean... So we can kind of conserve some of our troops right now. Now we do have to get this depot here. But as long as they're not firing, they're not using it. So it's a way to look at it. Look at that, he's routed. Now I'm going to go a little bit fast because we're just using the mortar right now. I mean, look, look at that. It, it just, I don't know if it, if, if it just shattered two units. I'm not sure, but that looked kind of close to shattering two units. 
All right, so the Marines are going to move a little bit forward. So we can do some spotting. And like I said, uh, I lost two guys here, it looks like. All right, now let's see. We've got a 147, 141, 147, 140, 137, 149. Let's move a little bit. Okay, so seal is shattered. Okay, I'm going to go back to normal speed now that we got the depot. Okay, I think uh, if our guys can try to kill that gun right there, have everybody concentrate on it. Alright, so now the, the key here is make sure he doesn't come back to the gun, but we got him off it. And now, and now my mortar has got ammo, and we have a supply wagon too, but... I think once the mortar starts knocking these units out, Alright, so notice how we tried to get back on the artillery?
Oh yeah, we we got rid of the cavalry. We're just going to have to charge this unit because he's going to flank and stuff and it's just kind of in a way ridiculous. So yeah, thank you. There we go. So now we got these units here. It looks like they want to engage. Okay, so we're going to have to try to get that, but we've got to blast these guys out of here. Oh yeah, and here comes their reinforcements. Okay, I think we're going to get our reinforcements in a, about six minutes, it looks like. Now, we don't want to extend too far, so get back, run, hold, hold. All right, so now it looks like we got both depots. All right, so I must have I must have combined this unit, but I can't uncombine him, so he must be low enough to where I can't do that. Yeah, just like this unit, but this unit could possibly get on there because he's a full unit. Okay, get on the gun. Hold, hold. Okay, so we got our uh, reinforcements. They're going to come over here. They're going to try to hold this flank right here.
Hey, matter of fact, I can fill up my, my supply wagon right here. Yeah, so now I got their artillery. Let's see what their artillery is. It's a four pounder brass. Okay, so the brass cannon uh, got 19 kills, and my mortar is up to 287. Yeah, another another guy got killed in darn it. Okay, so now I gotta move these guys now because I don't know where those units went. But these guys have got to get some experience, so they're gonna do that. And and anybody coming to here is gonna get hit by the mortar and this gun right here. And we haven't done much here. We don't want to. We just want to hold the line. Okay, we've got a bunch of little battles going on. Alright, so as you can see the way I've been doing this, they've got a lot of units right here. That's why we don't want to pursue it. But we want to get all these stragglers first.
and we don't want any of them to get behind us to, to come over here to, you know, do some mischief. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna move the artillery and the mortar because while we're messing around, we want them to be hurting the enemy in any way that they can. Okay, so somebody just dissolved. All right, this little unit, I'm going to send him over there, and I'm going to have this one come up over there. You're going after him. You're going after him. Like I said, as soon as the artillery or mortar, like which one, this is my mortar. Yeah, I mean, they changed it so they can't shoot through a house. All right, well, like I said, uh, I'm trying to, I, I know I want to, I got to work on this. Cause they got one, two, three, four, five, six units here, seven. And if this guy is, is engaging, then why don't we just send these guys over here to engage? You know? All right, well, let's see what we're going to do here. We're just going to move these units.
Okay, well, let's see here. Alright, I don't know, but I think we're going to go to this line here. Alright, well, let's see. Alright, so now we got a prisoner, finally. Alright, so he has zero kills, so he's going to have to go in and get some kills. Got my supply wagon here. So uh, this depot has 77%. This one has 82 So they really filled these depots up in this particular battle. Remember there was a battle I, I mentioned that they didn't uh, fill up the supply. Like we, we just drained it in, in no time, like in a matter of a couple of minutes. But, you know, these depots are really f filled good. All right, I think I can bring uh, this marine unit here, this one here. These guys will almost be out of ammo, but, you know, I don't know, I, I kept pursuing them, so...
de calnado, man. Oh, I've got a lot going on here. Starting to get a little uh, out of hand, maybe. There we go, we got him. Okay, so now that we have uh, that, Let's see if the Dragoons can do anything to that unit. So we finally did get some prisoners. So let's see, the mortar got 500 kills, so that, that's pretty good. And this one, you know, the artillery didn't do as good, but... Because the artillery hits obstacles and things of that nature. Alright guys, why don't you close in on him, please?
All right, so we're going to go uh, fast. Alright, I don't know what to say, folks. But, like I said, there are bugs in this game. Alright, see if this is the last unit. Yep, the mortar got him. It's not the last unit. This should this should end if it was. Okay. So this okay, so now we gotta go look around and find out where the unit is hiding. Oh, right here. Alright, I bet this is the last unit. He was hiding over here. Well, I'm thinking that this has got to be the last unit. And I'll, I'll tell you, I'm lucky that I put all the prisoners here because sometimes I like to send them out here, but an enemy could have easily found them. All right, come on, everybody, participate. Take him out. Take him out. Look at he—he he should not be able to run away from all of these guys. Come on, Cav. Hey, we got him as a prisoner. The last twenty-four guys. All right, we got up to four twenty. Um, sorry if I didn't talk a lot or whatever, but. looks like I totaled 3,000 and they gave us 75 Dragoons my army strength so I lost 600 and 160 then the enemy had less than 3,000 three guns whole town whole defenses Couple of guys wounded, one deceased, couple of promotions. 
Got two four pounders. Got five hundred of these, which which has a banner, and we have two hundred of the sword. Plus, we rescued that much. So, I mean, like I said, other than the music kind of like acting weird and stuff, like I said, and when I did this battle before, I can tell you that some of these units wouldn't even they would stare at each other and they wouldn't shoot and stuff. And I had to send a bug report. So, you know, even with the release version and with some patches, we still have uh, problems in the game. Which you would think that you shouldn't have any of these problems. So it's just my opinion. Uh, you can tell me what you think about it. Now, yeah, see, we lost... We lost... Look at this. We lost an actual captain, like somebody that was commanding it. But I got a commander right here. So I'll drop him in there. But yeah, that was... What can you say, right? What can you say? You can see I got the Gene Bot right here. Um, but we need 25 rep. We don't have it. Now, Capture Savannah. Two career points. Now, let's see. How about one luck? And hey, I'm going to put one under officer's chance of an officer not to die. You know what I mean? Like, I might as well do that. The reason I put one more into luck is because we have two side missions. Gray ships, which, wow, look how big this is. Three to five ships. Wow. So five, six, I'm going to need seven ships. Wow. Okay, then. So, yeah, I, I think I might hang on to this. It's it's costing me $300, two, 299 Yeah, see here, I lost an officer. But, got his first perk. Yeah, remember that I lost one one guy right there. And then my supply wagon still full of funds, so I didn't even use it. So I'm going to put him to the reserves, and I'm going to put the uh, mortar to reserves. I guess I can leave these guys like that for now. Alright, so now that we got our ships, let's take a look at the Liverpool. Hey, and we lost an officer here, too. Alright, let's check for officers. So, Liverpool. Fair Lady. Diana. Martha. Sally. And, okay. All right, so let's look at, see if we're optimal. Alright, I think the ships are good. Uh, I'm not going to put any more into it. So I think we'll go ahead and do gray ships. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get Anne in it. Diana. And Martha. And I'll put the Whitby in.
And I'll put that shit in a 94%. Hundred percent. All right, let's see what it's gonna be like here. Okay, folks. So now, as you can see here, we have this letter. Okay, so for an upcoming battle, right? Um, we can choose. We can choose trigger side mission a fort in a haystack or we can choose an eye of a needle. So this would be a sea battle. This will be a land battle and sea battle and I usually do both. But if you do this it'll only be a sea battle but this is a land and sea battle. So, I think it'd be more interesting to do both than to just do one. So, that's why I'm going to pick that one. Okay? And that means intelligence. So, the gray ships, we sunk the two ships. And you can see we didn't take much. And we only got 5,000 for that. And guilty by default, we got 2,900. Six reputation. Our armies retake the town of Savannah, yeah. John Adams, president of the rebels, secure recognition of the United States as an independent government by the Dutch Republic. During this visit, he, he also negotiates a loan of 5 million guilders financed by Nicholas van Staphorst and Wilhelm Willink. All right, so intelligence, six ships. Okay, so we're going to need, we're going to need all these. Okay, because like I said, there's going to be a land portion that I'm going to have to do in that and then a sea battle. So I only have 77,000. Um, I guess what I could do is we have 27. So I could unlock this ship. I could buy some officers. And that would mean I would get rid of probably the sloop, Martha. So what I could do is I could name this ship HMS Martha. And then Martha, I can buy these guys. I can take them off the ship. I can take these guys off. Take the guns off. I can take the upgrades off. And what I like to do here is just kind of take the letters off and just say Mar. <laughs> so. And now I can go to here. And I can sell it. So I'll get 5,000. And 
And now I can put on Martha's crew onto the new Martha. I can get all three of the perks. Now she's got Armstrongs. I can take the Armstrongs off. And we got 20 of these, so that's just, you know, free to put on the ship. Um, and we have 24 of these, and we need 28. So, you know what I mean? It's going to cost me only 500. Now, of course, um, it's only 4 pounders and 6 pounders, but nonetheless, these things can shoot pretty far. And it's and it's going to be less weight, and so I could probably put a whole bunch of guys on here, and I can even put a, a ship upgrade. So let's go ahead and put a repair kit on. We'll at least have that. That's 5,000. And now the question would be is, is it better to, um, oh yeah, and the Liverpool needs to be repaired. So, like, if, if I were to go to, if I pay, I could do it several ways, like what I usually do, right? But we're already at optimal here. So I could, I could even drop down uh, uh, to, to optimal. So to Liverpool, I can go up to optimal. Okay. So what I was going to say, folks, if anybody's listened to this, is um, should I spend the it on these guys and then take away, um, you know, if I were to take away, like, the reserves and see how many I can get on here before I lose a perk like that. Because would it? Because it, for the land portion, it might be better to have, you know, really good marines. Well, this one is already pretty good. Well, wait, what is this unit? He's 156, so if I were to top him to 160 for now. But this unit really needs to get up there. So let's go ahead and get him to... Let's say I get him to 162. And then can I get this unit to 160? I could actually get him... Yeah, so I mean... We could actually go pretty far then. So let's go to 200. Oh yeah, and I can go with a light hull, I guess. Okay, so I could I could still put a couple guys on, but with a light hull, and we got a minimum crew here of 40, but I guess that's okay.
And we still have 56,000, so can we do a little bit here? Alright, so um, that spent a lot of money, but we've got 200, 200, 200, 200, and 200. So that's 500. No, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. No, it's 1,000. Yeah, so I got 1,000 Marines. So, and, that, and that's it, keeping in mind that the crews are only 40, though. And so this is what I mean about, uh, you know, having these guys at, at um, optimal. So now if I buy reserves, how many can I get before, before I lose a perk? Like right there. So now and... Okay, so Sally is maxed out. We lost some XP. I mean, the way I look at it, right, um, by giving up some XP, we're going to gain XP in battles. So I can give up a little to save money. Okay, so now I have 22,000. So we can only put in six. So at least what I did is I got all the ships uh, where they they can no longer give up anything without losing something. So I don't know if that's a good plan, but if I want the 40 gun ships in, so that'll be one, two, three, four, plus the two uh, transports. Or merchant ships. So that would mean I can I can drop these guys down to minimal. And Sally. And then I can disperse these maybe amongst these other ships. So I can go to um, 374. Three seventy four. Oh, but I don't. Hey, you know what? I don't have a. 
I think on Diana, I, I should put on a, a structure repair kit. Okay, so Diana is maxed out, Fair Lady and Liverpool are maxed out, so the only other one to do would be Martha. And we can max up, uh, Martha out totally. Oh, because I put the lower guns on here, that's why. Okay, well, I'll do that then, it looks like, because now I'm down to 4,000, as you can see. And I think that's about the best that I could possibly do. Now, you might have seen what I did if you did watch the harbor, and you can let me know if I made a mistake, like if you think, you know, I shouldn't have taken away some of the quality of the sailors and dropped their stats, or should I have, you know... You know, whatever. So, I mean, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to just keep it like that. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And we'll be back next time for that battle, which will do both land and sea portions of it. So... No matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon. God bless to you and your own religion. Take care of yourself. Be kind to others. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos. And adios, the lovely amigas. <laughs>